how's it going? It's Margaret and I'm here bringing you my weekly sales update. These are things that sold on eBay and Etsy in the last mm, about week or so. And apologies if you were watching this live earlier because I thought I was going to save time and shoot this video, just do it live and get it out of the way and YouTube had some sort of glitch and kicked it off and so I'm having to redo it. So, so much for that. But isn't that always the way when you're trying to hurry things along, they just take longer. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna record the video like normal and then pop it up sometime. We'll see. All right, so <clears throat> starting off, these are my sales on eBay. And again, I hope you can hear me. My husband, I, I'm blaming him, <laughs> I think took my earbuds. So I have no speaker for you. So here we go. These are some things that sold on eBay. So this is that cat back there. Um, this is a Barbie dress that sold its fuchsia and it has this little faux fur stole. I paid a quarter for it. It was in a lot of other Barbie stuff and it so when everything averaged out it was about a quarter and so I took a best offer of $14. Again here it says what the price was uh, but I took an offer of $14 and so my net there was $11.74. And I frequently get questions about does this include like PayPal fees and things like that. Yes, I, I use an Etsy calculator and an eBay calculator and it figures all the fees and things out and tells me what my profit is. So that's that. Next up is this oval solitaire pendant. It's like a cubic zirconia. Um, and also, I feel like I just settled this to you. Um, I paid a quarter for it. Uh, it sold for $11.59 on sale and so that had me $10.43. And then I tried getting into music. I know Jason does really well with Christmas music, and I just don't have the eye. <laughs> or I don't know. I don't have the education, I should say. Um, so I paid $0.99 cents for this one. It sold on sale for $9.11 and net me $8.77. Pardon me. All right, next was this book called Mafalda. And this was a Spanish language book, and I paid 49 cents for this book. It sold, I took a best offer of $14.99, and that net me $13.25. And then finally was Yukon Cornelius, and he is from the um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the classic one, Claymation I think it is, or they're not exactly, I don't know. Anyway. So Yukon Cornelius, I paid a dollar for last year um, after Target had their Christmas stuff on sale. Um, and so he was on sale for $12.94, which net me $9.79. Uh, and I was saying in the live video that I, you know Target's Christmas stuff, there wasn't as much cute stuff this year. I don't I didn't think. So I probably won't be hitting that up after the holidays, you know. So anyway, my net profit on eBay <clears throat> was $53.98, so not so bad. Now for Etsy, and this happened last year. Um, my sales during Q4 on Etsy were, were well above what my sales were on eBay. So let's take a look. Let me scroll down. Here we go. So these vintage wooden pegs have started selling again, and I actually just looked, and I think I only have a couple still listed so I have more that I need to put up so these ones sold I paid two dollars for them they sold for $24.99 and that net me $22.58 so yeah I've got to put the rest of them up then this men's um, accessory sold and I put the wrong number in down here so I'll have to refigure this uh, because it actually sold for $19.99 if you were watching me live you, that's right around the point where it cut off um, because I was like, that's not right. So it actually sold for $19.99. So my net profit there is probably closer to the $18 mark. I paid about 10 cents. I love picking these up, same thing. You know, I can usually pick them up for a dime, quarter, and, the, uh, and I list them for, for 20 bucks, $19.99. So next up was this Disney mug that sold, and this one I, I feel like, and I was saying, um, but you never heard it, that I was just noticing on eBay, they started doing 
like there's a little notice underneath items now that say this item has been listed for longer than a certain amount of time. Um, so I was just looking at this item on eBay with that notification on it and thinking, what am I going to do? You know, I, do I, am I going to change tack or what? And then it sold. So that's awesome. I uh, paid a buck ninety nine for this mug, which is a lot for me to spend on a mug, but it sold for <clears throat> pardon me, it sold for nineteen ninety nine and that net me seventeen dollars and five cents. I wonder if I got these two flip flopped. That might have been what happened. I may have put the numbers backwards on some of these. Because I wouldn't have charged that for the shipping. I bet that's what happened. I bet the mug sold for eleven ninety nine and I bet the but then those prices are right. I don't know. So it all works out in the end. <laughs> Knowing me, I was tired last night when I was doing this. All right. So last, <laughs> another mug, not last one, another mug sold, Maxine. I paid 99 cents for her. Um, she sold for $14.99. And after shipping and fees, my net there was $11.82. Not bad. This is why I sell mugs, right? And then this Angel's postcard book sold. And I do have in my list, you know, my shop that it says, you know, if there, if you want to send me an offer, I'm always up listening up for offers or whatever. And she said, you know, hey, you know, I noticed there's a little damage on the back. Do you mind dropping it a little more? Which I had no problem with. So $7.99 is what I charged her. And so that net me $7.57 for these Angel postcards. And then this button sold, and this is a big, it was a big button like that, um, of Mickey and Minnie, and I paid a dollar for it. It sold for $18.99 and net me $17.11. Not bad. And then this book, They Saw Him Fly, sold. And let's see, where did you go? It's covered up. Boop, boop, boop. Why isn't that? Yes, there we go. So I paid a quarter for that book, and it sold for $9.99. And that net me $9.44. Um, vintage children's books can sell, but they also might sit for a while waiting for the right buyer. But I, I enjoy picking them up. I like them. Then these playing cards sold. These are little critters. I paid a quarter for those. They sold for $9.99 as well. And that net me $9.44. And this set, um, tie bar and cufflinks sold. I paid a buck eighty-three. They were in a lot. Um, they sold for forty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents, and that net me thirty-eight dollars and seventy-two cents. And then finally, oops, I scrolled too far. Finally, this book, The Sleeping Beauty, sold. I just listed this last week. Um, I paid a quarter for it. I listed it for $24.99 and I kind of wish I'd listed it for a little more now uh, because it did sell within a week and so my net was $23.95. The reason being, one, at first I thought, oh, I'm listing this really high, you know, $24.99, but I didn't see another one out there like it. And then there are people, like the way collectors, <laughs> the way collectors think, or some do, I know like as, as far as my mom goes, because she collects Alice. So if she finds a version of the book that she doesn't have, she wants it in her collection. And also, if it's the version you grew up with or remember reading as a child, then that's the one you want. You identify with those pictures. So when I didn't see one like it out there, I put it at a higher price for those reasons. So now I'm thinking, oh, I bet I could have gotten more. But that's okay. $23.95 is still pretty good. So again, my eBay sales, $53.98. And my total net on Etsy was $168.06. So not too bad. And my total for both was $22.04. Um, so I'm pretty happy with those sales. Um, I know when I, when I first started reselling, my goal was $200 a week. And then it went up to $250 a week. And now it's just... I'm happy with what I get because I haven't been doing a whole lot. I've been listing some, but not as much as I used to because of merch. So things are changing a little bit, but I'm still selling on Etsy and eBay. Still enjoy that. Uh, the hunt, the thrill of the hunt is why I could not quit. So anyway, thanks so much for watching my sales update video. Hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can get notified when I put out new videos. Um, and again, apologies if you were watching live and it just cut off on you. So 
<laughs> Here it is again. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.